My name is Trevor, aka Rev Trev. Love to have a little fun nickname. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about four keys to the Vancouver Canucks making the playoffs. Here's the thing the Canucks management has been very clear that we are not rebuilding, but we are trying to make the playoffs this season. Now, whether you like that or not, that's exactly what they've said. This is why they traded. Uh, our first rounder and a second to get Hronik to shore up the D on the right-hand side. Uh, this is why we didn't trade JT Miller because he's part of our core. I know there was he, there was rumors that he was in trade talks, but we didn't, okay? Because if you did, you wouldn't be making the playoffs this year. I also know from my last video that we just talked about, Petey, in order to sign here, wants to be playing for a team that is pushing for the playoffs and is in the playoffs. He does not want to be sitting here in a rebuild or in, in between. So here's talking about four keys to this. Now I want to know want you to know before we start this video or go any further, is that I want your feedback. Maybe I'm gonna be missing something here, or maybe I don't give enough information. So please, please post in the comments. In fact, why don't you just do the Rev Trev hat trick? You're watching already, right? That's the first one. The second one is comment. Comment what I missed, what else we need to add, or what else uh, you know is important. And then please subscribe. I'm trying to, um, to get to 500 subscribers. I need your help. So thanks so much for subscribing, for commenting. I'm looking forward to this. Okay, so four keys to the Canucks making the playoffs this season. The first one is pretty obvious, but the Canucks have to stay relatively healthy. Now, as we saw last year, Demko must stay healthy for us to be able to compete. Um, when Demko returned from injury last season, Team Tank was over. He's too much of a difference maker. He's a fantastic goalie. Um, we just you just need to know that about Demko. This is this is why we signed him for the amount of money in the years because he's absolutely stellar. Without Demko, I'm telling you this right now, we do not make the playoffs. Okay, so let's be honest. Petey, Kuzi, um, J.T. Miller, uh, Quint Quinn Hughes, right? Um, they all need to stay healthy. Now if I know that it's like a pipe dream to have everyone stay healthy. Every team has to work through injuries. So if these uh, main players get injured, you have to, they can't be injured for long, right? Because the next man up mentality does not work when your, your guys who got hurt was the difference makers. You need difference makers to be healthy and to play. Now, next man out mentality works for forwards or role players or some of those lower end defensemen that can be replaced by AHL defensemen to be serviceable, might not be able to score, but can play decent defensively. And so this is these are very, very important. So that's number one, to stay relatively healthy, especially our stars. Speaking of our stars, number two is that our stars must be stars. Now, I know this is not rocket science, okay? But if our stars don't produce, we will not make the playoffs. Pedersen can't have a, when he was hovering around the 70 point, um, mark in a season. He's got to be better than that. That's He's our star player. He has to be in the high 80s, low, like 90s, hundreds, okay? That's what we need from him in order to play well. Um, we also need JT Miller to not have that big slump that he had last year. Like, he had 99 points. He had 82 uh, last season. I think it was 82. Um, he needs to be uh, above that range in between you know 85 and 95 to help us out uh kuzmenko has to be able to not have a scoring slump but continue showing how good he is to the league and to the team right so we need to have um garland and Bovillier and brock besser to produce as well they don't have to get 
tons and tons of points, but they have to contribute in order to take the pressure off the, the real stud stars, okay? So, and also, speaking of which, the de the defense, we need more scoring from our defense to, to get involved, to take off some of that pressure so that the forwards don't have to be on every single night, right? There's got to, you got to be able to alleviate some of that pressure. We know uh, Hughes is going to get his points. He's just an, a, an amazing rock star on defense, right? Offensively minded, right? But um, think about it. How many goals uh, will Hironic get this year? How many goals will Susie get this year? Um, will Cole be chipping in? Um, think about uh, Tyler Myers, for example, he needs to score more than one goal this season, right? So that's some of the things that are important. So that's number three, or number two, stars need to be stars. Number three is we need to have a good start to the season. Can we just be honest? That's We can't get behind the eight ball this year. We can't do it, guys, okay? Um this has been our Achilles heels for two seasons in a row. Um, we've And we also have to beat good teams. You can't just beat bottom feeders. You have to beat good teams to, in order to make the playoffs, okay? So, now, side note, you can't just, you can't lose to bottom feeder teams. I mean, I know there's parity in the NHL, and I get it, and there's no gimmies, but you can't play down to the bottom feeders, the teams that are rebuilding, the teams that are just not as good as us. You have to be able to win those games in order to have a shot. So the Winnipeg Jets, for example, in our division, or conference, I should say, have squeaked into the playoffs with 95 points. The next lowest was the Kraken with 100. So basically you need mid-90s, early 100s to get into the playoffs. And then after that, I mean, if you're over 100, you're, it's almost guaranteed you're going to get into the playoffs. So we need 100 points to score. So we have to have a good start in order to continue to have a good season in order to have all those. Those wins are going to be very, very important. Uh, in fact... Um, the first month is crucial for us. With our first two games, we play the Oilers back to back. We probably need to split one of the split that series, right? And I know it's not crucial, but it's important. November, we go on the Eastern Swing, and we're playing Tampa Bay and Florida and all those teams, right? And so we need to win some of those games, uh, a, a bunch of those games, and so. We have to have a good start. That's number three. The last one, number four, is that our special teams needs to improve. Primarily, our penalty kill. It was so bad last year. Like, we're talking, uh, it destroyed our chances, okay? So, I, I think about bringing in Bluger, uh, Susie, Cole. That is going to help our penalty kill. I'm very thankful. It's going to take the pressure off of JT Miller to have to play so many penalty kill minutes as well. Um, Canucks, if I'm reading the stats right, and I, and I, I, I had to take a double take, okay? Um, they were the worst in the league with 71.6% on the penalty kill, okay? The worst. Now, Boston was the best at 876 uh, percentage on the penalty kill. So we need to be in the 76 to 80 percent range to be respectable, to not be the worst, to not, you know, not be so horrific. We got to give ourselves a shot. Now, on the power play, we were 11th in the league, which was so it needs to continue to produce. Um, we're not going to be a given that we're going to produce, but we're, offensively, we seem to be not too big of a problem is defensively, especially on the PK. So last year, 11th, 22.71% the Canucks had. Now the Oilers were the best and had 34.19% on the power play, blew away the rest of the league. In fact, Dallas was the second highest in the league on power play, and they had 25.97%, almost 26%. The Oilers were that much better than everyone else, and, and rightly so. I mean, you're talking McDavid, Dreisaitl, all that all that offensive power and weapons. It doesn't, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to, to understand that, that that's why they were the best. And so those are my four um, 
keys to making the playoffs this season. So now let's just quickly review them. Uh, we must stay relatively hap uh, ha happy, healthy. That would also make us happy. Uh, stars need to be stars. Uh, have to have a good start, and, and special teams must be improved, especially the p penalty kill. What am I missing? Tell me your comments. Thanks so much for watching. Do a Rev Trev hat trick. Hit that subscribe button. Post in what 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 you think, and and thanks so much for watching. And of course, always go Canucks, go.